So, I was going through emails today, and I saw this very interesting email from the NRA, the, uh, the ILA, uh, Institute for Legislative Action, and I had no idea that some of these things were even taking place. So, thank you, NRA, for your help in getting the word out in Tennessee. Now, these are uh, just specific to Tennessee. Uh, and while there are some pro-gun bills um, out there, uh, the ones that really the most that were most troubling to me were the anti-gun bills. And I'm going to leave a link to all of these in the description. But there were a couple, like Senate Bill 670, uh, sponsored by Senator Lee Harris, would allow the issuance of a temporary order of protection preventing a person to possess a firearm based on a law enforcement officer's judgment that the person is a danger to another person. Okay. Um, Senate Bill 671 sponsored by Lee Harris would create within the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation a voluntary do not sell firearm registry making it a criminal offense to transfer a firearm to anyone on the registry. I particularly do not like that one. That's Senate Bill 671. Uh, here's another one, Senate Bill 1186, sponsored by Senator Sarah Kyle. And all of, obviously these are all Democrats doing this. Uh, would require a gun owner to report a lost or stolen firearm within 48 hours uh, failing to do so would require a fine of $250. Okay, that's not the one that really was interesting me the most, which was the next one, also sponsored by Senator Sarah Kyle, would criminalize the private transfer of a firearm by requiring any sale or transfer to be done through a federally licensed gun dealer with limited exceptions. What were the limited exceptions? Anyway, particularly do not like that one. Private sales of firearms uh, should remain just that, private. So there is, I feel like I need to, uh, here are all, are all of the um, senators, and of course this is Tennessee, obviously, so this is a call to action for people in Tennessee, and I think the first paragraph. Tomorrow, the Tennessee Senate Judiciary Committee will begin to hear numerous pro-gun and anti-gun bills. It's imperative that you contact members of the State Judiciary Committee and politely urge them to support pro-gun legislation and oppose any bills that would further restrict your Second Amendment rights. That was the first paragraph, obviously. should have read it first, but um, uh, and I appreciate the pro-gun bills. Some of these are like, you know, you can, you know, carrying in a state uh, recreational area or whatever. But the ones that are troubling me are these, uh, this registry thing, um, and the sale of uh, private, you know, private sales of firearms. So anyway, I'm going to get busy here, and I'm going to this particularly annoying one, Sarah Kyle. Where's her? Where is she? I'm going to go after her first. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to copy this email address, which is senator it's sen.sarah.kyle at capital.tn.gov Anyway, I'll leave all the links in the description. The phone numbers and email addresses. And of course, again, this is Tennessee for Tennesseans, but maybe if Hickok or somebody, Big John or Teen Outdoors 9 can help, help, help get this out, maybe you all already know, and I'm just behind the curve, but uh, some of this stuff is hard to keep up with. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot, and um, our next video should, be, should have guns in it, not just talking about guns. Thanks, guys.